the Western Ethiopians of classical Greek and Latin writers are the ten tribes of Israel. The Eastern Ethiopians are the Jews, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Israelites in the Americas and Jerusalem. Espanola, the year 1503. The island of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Taino, Tasca, Anna Kauna, and Nicholas Ovando, governor of the Indies. Anna Kauna, born 1474, died 1504. Her name means Golden Flower, was a Taino Sika or female Saik chief, religious expert, poet, and composer, born in Zaragua before. The arrival of Christopher Columbus in 1492. The Dominican Republic in Haiti was divided into five kingdoms. In 1503, Nicholas Ovando, the governor of the island, visited Zaragoa. He suspected an insurrection was brewing among the Taino chiefs, including Anna. Kuana, presently in the kingdom. Ovando gave the order for the Siki to be captured and burned. Anna Kuna was hanged. Andromeda of mythology was described as dark or brown. Her land was described as Ethiopia or the Black Indies. Her father was ruler or king of Ethiopia. Geographically, her father's kingdom was located in the land of Palestine, in one of the regions of the northern tribes of Israel, the tribe of Dan. Andromeda was described as a woman of dark complexion, dark or brown, and her people were called Indians in her land, the Black Indies. Taino Indians, Espanola, Dominican Republic in Haiti. Taino Indians, Puerto Rico,
the Western Ethiopians of Homer and Herodotus were the ten tribes of Israel, who are today the indigenous Indians of the Americas. The Western Ethiopians of the Iliad and the Odyssey were the ten tribes of Israel. The Eastern Ethiopians of the Iliad and Odyssey were the Jews, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Herodotus identified two kinds of dark or black skinned Ethiopians. Those in the West with woolly hair, kinky hair, and those in the East with straight hair. From the book Regurmed in Black, page 58. The Ethiopians of Homer, the Israelites, woolly haired, and straight haired. This is an excerpt from the Iliad, Samuel Butler translation, 1898, like Hobbes, also omits the epithet. For Zeus went yesterday to Oceanus to a feast among the Ethiopians. Homer on the Ethiopians, Eagle Translation. Here's a few verses from the Iliad and Odyssey that speaks about the Ethiopians. We're going to take a few select verses to bring some clarity to certain historical facts. The Odyssey 1 21-25 But now Poseidon had gone to visit the Ethiopians worlds away. Ethiopians off at the farthest limits of mankind, a people split in two, one part where the sun god sets, and part where the sun god rises, there Poseidon went, to receive an offering, bulls and rams by the hundred Far away at the feast, the sea lord sat and took his pleasure. The first point, a people split in two, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. The Israelites at this point in time were split in two kingdoms. Point number two, where the sun god sets, or the sun sets, western hemisphere, where the sun god rises, the eastern hemisphere. The Israelites at this point were in the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere. And continue with another excerpt. For Zeus went yesterday to Oceanus to feast among the Ethiopians. Point number three. Zeus went to feast among the Ethiopians. He went to Oceanus. 
Oceanus to feast with the Ethiopians. This is an article. Oceanus, the Titan God of the River Oceanus, Sierra Tolentino, Ancient Civilizations, Ancient Greece, Gods and Goddesses, Greek Gods and Goddesses, July 10th, 2022. Details describing the location of Oceanus also helps us understand how the ancient Greeks viewed themselves, especially when compared to the rest of the world. Some scholars suspect that the river Oceanus was likely what we know today as the Atlantic Ocean and that the river was the greatest cosmographical explanation of the seemingly boundless western sea that appeared to encompass their known world. Point number four, Oceanus, the Atlantic Ocean. Point number five, the Ethiopian Ocean is the Southern Atlantic. On Wikipedia, Ethiopian Sea, Ethiopian Sea or Ocean was the name given to the southern half of the Atlantic Ocean in classical geographical works. The name appeared in maps from ancient times up to the turn of the 19th century. Ethiopian Ocean and South America. Let us look for a moment at some of the things which the ancient Greek and Latin authors have said, indicating their knowledge of the existence of a Western continent. Creates a commentator on Homer is quoted by authority of Strabo, a very learned author of the century before Christ as saying that Homer means in his account of the Western Ethiopians, the inhabitants of the Atlantis or the Hesperides as the unknown world of the West was then variously called in the book Prehistoric. Central America, page 5. Pliny, also 6, 31-36, locates the Western Ethiopians somewhere in the Atlantic. This shows that Crates and Pliny believed that the great poet Homer believed in the existence of a great continent on the western shore of the Atlantic Ocean. Same book, page 5. The Great Continent, the Americas. Subscribe, like, and share. To be continued.